originally when I had it programmed, I had a, a very uh, logarithmic scale, and I just found it too frustrating for my... I found it easier to get used to that pedal, uh, uh, particularly in traffic for just sneaking along. Oh, was it? My fault, yeah. Oh, <laughs> it's okay, it wasn't second gear. Well, that would explain. <laughs> it was not very tired. Accelerator a bit. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> Pit smooth. Okay, that's fine. Fine. Eric's discovered yeah. that it drives better with the brake off. <laughs> well, I've discovered it works a lot better if you keep out of second gear. <laughs> 2,000 RPM, that's better than yeah. 4,000. So we're cruising along at uh, zero. Essentially, was pushed out of the shed, so we're expecting a few little issues yeah. here. But oh, yeah. Um, Brakes. Yeah. I'm getting used to it now. Beautiful. getting used to the non-vacuum assisted brakes. <laughs> yep, we didn't hit the car in front of us, so that's good. Yeah, the sun's out again. Yeah. Don't feel afraid though to give it a stick. I'd say I'm not over, I've got it limited at the moment anyway. So. Yeah, this, I think you're going to have trouble drawing more than about 360 <laughs> amps probably. I just love that you take your foot off and it's 40 amps. Yeah. yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Here we have the little Marty boy, Suzuki. Nice newly upholstered seats. And the dashboard. There it is. There we have the. We had a good test this morning. We've uh, tested out the splash guards and everything. It's a yes. little belly pan down here to keep all the water out. We've had a fairly wet trip. Yeah, it's all dry as a bone. And most of the uh, started off as IP60, 65 standard, but uh, they no longer, they're still good for a car wash or whatever, but they, they no longer have that high rating. Um, we've got here a little, you see the switch and the button in the dash, which just pulls the circuit breaker that's behind there. So if you're actually doing any work and you've dropped it, you can reset it with this or you can actually pull it to trigger it, yep. pu push it down to uh, yep. trigger it rather. In an emergency if you're working on it. Um, so your controller doesn't get very hot? I have a feel. No, it's just slightly warm. No, the heat sink's cold. Yeah, and the motor, we've been hammering it so you can feel the motor. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, the motor's 
probably. Should be about 40 degrees. Probably 40, yeah, yeah. 35, 40. Yeah. yeah. Keep your hand on it easy. And um, we're using uh, a little Servcon DC to DC converter. It's co permanently connected to the battery pack. Okay. Um, it just goes into quiescent current mode when it's fully charged the battery. Um, I was working on a Honda last week, a hybrid, and I noticed that they have warnings about, uh, which is something you sort of don't think of about being able to uh, not use a bake oven above 150 degrees F or 65 C, uh -huh. which is going to damage most of our batteries. All the front has been sealed off, uh, so there's no air pocket anymore. Um, grill here, which allows cooling through, uh, direct airflow. And luckily, the Mighty Boy has a grill in the front, which corresponds to that, so it'll work out very well. Yeah. So here we have six Power Sonic. Yeah, they're 111 amp hour ratings, but if you derate them, they come back to about 63 amp hours for use in a car like Spare fuse, as you can see there. Uh, main fuse is over there. There's the active fuse there. 